This guy went from being in debt to earning £4,000 a month passively, all in the space of 30 days. What's going on guys? So in a minute we're going to jump on a Skype call with Bradley Riley. He's like a millennial entrepreneur, he's a social media marketing expert, he does business coaching as well and he's also got like a really successful social media marketing agency. He's based out in England and he's just come back from like the laptop lifestyle holiday or work holiday in Australia. And uh, during the Skype call I'm going to ask him like a little few questions about how he's outsourced most of his agency because he earns £4,000 but passively so he doesn't need to do anything to earn that. All he does is make sure that everything runs smoothly. He's put like systems in place to to like automise most of his company and that's what we're going to ask him like how he's done it all, how he's built it all up, what his day looks like, stuff like that. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the call. Hi guys, so here I am with uh, Brad Riley. I was going to say Bradley again then, but it's Brad Riley. <laughs> Brad, yeah, and uh, like, to be honest, I can go on about all the stuff you've done, but I think you're best just introducing yourself. Yeah, thank you, man. So uh, yeah, as Josh said, my name is Brad Riley. Um, I'm an entrepreneur from the UK. Uh, similar to Josh as well, I've got my own uh, social media marketing agency. Uh, I do it a little bit different to him, though. I do it more freelance than "quote unquote" agency. Um, you know, I've got a personal brand. I do online coaching, and um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, sounds good. And um, yeah, like you said, you do outsource like quite a lot of. Uh, let's be honest, how much of your like agency do you outsource? Is it everything or? Yeah, pretty much everything. Obviously, like client emails and like phone calls with my client, I can't outsource. But yeah. they're a bit few far in between. I probably have maybe maybe an hour a month having to reply to emails. I barely get them, but everything else in my agency, so literally like 99% of my agency is outsourced, which is like all the all the graphic design stuff, all the management, all the posting, all the growth of the accounts, Facebook ads, pretty much everything is outsourced. So um, I'm quite big on that because, you know, I like to work smart, not hard. I don't really want to be working on my business all yeah. the time. I like, you know, I like to focus on getting clients and then I can just outsource that and, uh, and yeah, it's a lot easier to scale that way. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, and how how did you actually get started with with, with outsourcing? Yeah, man. So with outsourcing, um, basically, we when we did a video over on my channel, we spoke about the four hour work week. Yeah. But back in August, I went on a two week holiday to France, and at this point, I had no outsourcers at all. So I was doing all the posting, all the graphic design, all like the social media management. I was doing it myself. So. Obviously, for me to go on holiday for two weeks, that meant I had to do two weeks of work before I left, so for me to be able to relax. And I remember sitting there all week, working 18-hour days, busting my balls, like literally grinding hard just to get the posts out on time, right? Um, I mean, and then I was on holiday, and I was like, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a book. I read four-hour work week. And while I was out there and I was chilling out, enjoying life, you know, the week before, like I said, I was hustling hard, like not getting any new clients, just doing like the busy work. Yeah. And I was sat there reading four hour work week and he started to speak about how the fact he was having, uh, he was working, you know, four hours a week and he was traveling the world and he was, you know, doing jujitsu lessons and learning French and all this cool stuff. And I was like, you know what? Like I, I, you know, I've worked hard all week. I, you know what? It's not as glamorous as it seems. Like, I want to start outsourcing some of this stuff so I can actually enjoy my life a little bit more. So that's how I got into it. I learned about it originally from Tim Ferriss. And then from then, um, this, the second I got back that week, I started finding outsourcers. Um, I hired a few bad outsourcers. I, I hired a few average ones. But from trial and error, um, yeah. I've now worked with a couple of outsourcers who are really good. Um, and now it runs like super smooth. So it was a couple of, couple of weeks where it was a little bit rocky trying to, you know, trying different people here and yeah. there. But yeah, man, uh, Tim Ferriss, <laughs> to yeah. answer your question. <laughs> yeah, and like, obviously you've got to start somewhere, so like, you can't get like the perfect outsourcers uh, right away. But uh, like, even though you've got so much experience, you've actually only like just started this whole like social media marketing agency. I'm like, uh, over the year ago, you were still... No, it was, I started... I got my first client at the end of March last year, so it's, it's probably about, what was that, nine, ten months ago, something around that. Um, I just started this, but yeah, like, I, when I first started, my goal was, like, I, as like most entrepreneurs, I was like, I can't breathe working for someone else, so I was a yeah. uni student, I, I worked a minimum wage job just stacking shelves, and like, I just couldn't, I literally could not deal with it. So I, at the point, 
you know, I wasn't dreaming of this like six figure business, seven figure business. All I wanted at the time was just a thousand pounds a month to earn the same that I did at my minimum wage job, just yeah. so I could quit and work from home. And if that meant I had to work 80 hour weeks, a hundred hour weeks just to do so, I, I wouldn't have cared at that point because I just wanted to work from home. So when I first started, yeah, um, it all escalated really quickly because like I said, I really, all I wanted was just a thousand pound a month to, to you know, make my way to pay my bills and just work from home. And then within the first seven days of doing what I, well, the first day of doing my social media marketing agency, I actually landed a client within 24 hours and it wasn't a huge client. It was for 500 a month, but overnight I was like, holy crap, well, I've, I've just made half a month's wages working from home and I realized like hang on a minute this is quite fun now so I started to scale it massively and then within the first month I scaled to four thousand dollars a month so it, it it sort of went from zero to like 4k a month very quickly yeah um but yeah so I, I started back in in March it's been about nine months but only the past couple of months I've really started to outsource it before then I was doing it all myself yeah that is Still, that's an amazing story. That though, in such a short time to go yeah. from where you were to where you are now, and mm. I think like on my uh, Instagram, like my following, I like I put up a few polls to say like you know, are you currently doing what you love and stuff like that. And a lot of people say that the they think about like they really do want to change something about their life, like they really do want to start doing more stuff that they like and really like be entrepreneurial, basically. And but they don't really, they don't never really get started. So what was what for you was like the tipping point where you said, okay, that's it. I'm fed up well, with the way I'm living life. I'm gonna change yeah. it. Well, like I said, for me, it's like I, I couldn't breathe unless I was doing something that I enjoyed. Yeah. Um, I, I was always looking for the next thing. So if we like go back four, three, like three, four years ago, I finished school I you know went through college for a couple of years and then I had to get a job right so yeah. I worked full time for about I think it was just over two years I was, wasn't doing anything else at this point I was literally just working and I was working full time like I said at a retail store earning minimum wage I was doing shift work so I was working working till 11 p.m at night and then I was in the next morning at 6 a.m just crappy shifts like minimum wage never had any money if I wanted to go on holiday I had to save um so but I always wanted more. I literally, from when I was young, I always wanted to own my own business. But yeah. I was always searching for that thing. So rather than me just think, you know, I'm just going to keep working this job because I was so miserable. I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm just going to go to uni because I don't know what I want to do. At least if I go to uni, it's going to give me a degree. I at least have a few years to decide what I want to do. So I went to uni and I did business. Obviously, I did business because I wanted to own a business. As soon as I got there, I realised you learn absolutely nothing to do with actually running a business it's yeah. so different so you know the first few months you know i got drunk went out i had loads of fun and when things started to get more serious i had to actually revise for my exams i started to really hate it again yeah and people around me looked at me and thought like he quits everything he does but it's not that i was quitting everything i did i did it's because i knew what i wanted right yeah. so after a few months of being in that course i dropped out uh, but i promised my family that I'm only dropping out because it was the course. So yeah. I changed from business to accounting. And then I went to accounting and realized I was literally just as miserable. So there was not really one point for me where it just tipped over the edge. It was like, I always I was always looking for more, but I just yeah. never found it. And I don't know if you've been in the same situation, but I, even when I was like younger, I was always trying to create the next Facebook. Like I was trying to come up with it, the next Facebook or the next like deliver, food delivery company or the next Google. Yeah. But I had to start realizing like, um, that's not going to happen. Um, and that's when one day um, I was in Bali on holiday. Again, I love to travel. So when I was traveling, I was like, this is the life I want. So I thought, you know what? Enough of this crap anymore. I'm not going to create the next Facebook. Stop being stupid. And I sat down with a notepad and I just wrote down all the things that I was good at. Um, at the time, I had another YouTube channel. Um, I've always done social media for some stuff. Even yeah. if it's just casually, but I've always been on it. I've always enjoyed it. So you know, I made this big list of stuff and social media was one of the key things on there. And that's when it transitioned from me, like thinking, right, I want to own a business one day to actually, you know, this is a business I can do. Yeah. Um, and then that's when, uh, from then I started to learn as much as possible about social media, social media marketing. I found out about Ty Lopez's course. I never bought it, but I found out about it, started to watch all these videos and it literally escalated from there. So the biggest thing for me was finding out um, what it was I was going to do as yeah. opposed to, you know, 
one tipping point which made me have, have to do it if that makes sense like I've always wanted to do it it was just finding the right thing yeah I understand yeah and I do I, like I completely agree with like traveling and like living the laptop lifestyle like that is it just goes in it and yeah like, basically with social media uh, marketing we can't actually live like a laptop lifestyle because we're not like stuck in one place like we're not restricted to like a certain like office space or anything like that and exactly. obviously, you've took living the laptop lifestyle to the next level by going to Australia. Do you mind like, yeah. telling someone about that? Yeah, man, of course. Well, before we hop on uh, Australia, talking about the laptop lifestyle, actually, um, some exciting news. I know it's only 2018 now, but I really want to focus on building my business more so this year. But me and my girlfriend, um, we're actually going on a round-the-world trip next year in 2019. and you know most people would have to save to do that but you know we're, we're trying to save it a little bit just so we've got money to go out there yeah. with but you know we're actually taking it to the, the extreme next year we're literally we've traveled we're going to go to like 30 countries and you know I'm, we're just going to be able to live out there it's not we're not yeah. gonna we've no one-way ticket no plan to come back and that's the power yeah. of social media marketing but um but yeah in regards to where i've just been we've just come back from australia um with ollie chapman I don't, some of you guys might be familiar with him but yeah we, we flew out um when was that first week or second week in uh december i think it was we flew out there for two weeks to the gold coast we booked it a week before um and whilst we were out there um you know because of our businesses what we paid off the trip whilst we were out there and that's not to say like that's not to show off or say you know look at you know look at all yeah. this it's just to say like it it's it can it, be done and yeah like for me to go to australia before my old job i would have had to have worked over two months and not spent a penny for the whole two like literally yeah. not spent a penny for two over two months close to three months and i would have to book it off like six weeks in advance yeah. you know, six months in advance i had to book the holiday off but doing social media marketing just gives you that opportunity to be able to have the freedom to do what you want so like i said we i spoke to ollie on the phone and he invited me to go to la it was originally with him yeah and then we decided for some reason in the end to just go to australia but we literally booked it a week before we went. We booked some place, flew out there, went out there for two weeks, you know, just lived the laptop lifestyle literally as it was, woke up in the mornings, did some work, and then spent the rest of the day chilling out, going around the Gold Coast um, uh, to Brisbane and things like that, and then and then flew back just before Christmas. But, yeah, it's, it's nuts to think, you know, that was all I dreamed of six months ago. Well, yeah. um, a year ago, but... You know, to anyone watching this, if you're thinking of getting into social media marketing, I couldn't recommend it enough because, like I said, for me, I got my first client in a day. It just takes that first step, yeah, and then get from there, things can escalate massively. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Like just the freedom that you've got, like the way you like you were living, like especially in Australia, just like going traveling and stuff like that, but still actually earning money. Like, pay, yeah, you well, know what I mean? It's just that's amazing. That that is just ultimate freedom, isn't it? And yeah, especially man, the way you uh, you outsource and everything. It's just so much more time to do stuff that you actually love. Yeah, man. There's this really big like misconception, and I love Gary V. I literally love Gary V. But yeah. he's like he's very much hustle yourself yeah, yeah. to death. And there's a time and place for that. There is yeah. definitely a time and place to get up in the morning at six a.m. and go to bed at midnight and hustle all day. There's, I'm not saying you don't need to work hard because you do, but it gets to a stage that you're trying to understand. Gary V. trying to buy the jets. Yeah. If you're trying to run a profitable business and enjoy your life and you're not trying to buy the jets, you could get away with working yeah. like the Tim Ferriss. You could get away with working four hours a week and then traveling the world if you want to. Um, and I'm assuming most of your audience that watching this are similar ages to us in their yeah. 20s, maybe even a bit younger. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Like if you want to go traveling, enjoy your life, go traveling, you know, build up, especially places like Thailand, you can probably live on a thousand pound a month. Yeah. All that is is two really low paying clients or just one client. Yeah. So all you need to, to do is get one client, book a ticket to Thailand, and, and don't look back if traveling is what you want to do. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, with all your, like, uh, obviously because, like, you, you own your own business and you outsource most of it, what does your average day look like? So I'm super big on, uh, you probably know this, like, only focusing on client acquisition and thing that's gonna, things that are going to bring money into the business. So yeah. I wake up in the morning, I'm quite big on like morning routines, like obviously waking up and being grateful for things in the morning doesn't mean I'm going to earn more money, but it just means that uh, it's, you know, I, I'm all about like being fulfilled, so you know, it's a good way to start the day, so I wake up, uh, I do my morning routine, uh, I'll maybe go for a little run or go to the gym or something like that, and then once I get back, uh, I'll have a drink of water, I'll get myself refreshed for the day, and then my work day starts, that's usually around 8, 9 o'clock after I've um, done all my morning routine stuff. And then 
From then, I'll just purely focus on things that's going to bring money into my business. So for my agency, that's literally getting new clients. So yeah. I'll reach out to potential clients. Um, I'll, I'll message people. I'll, you know, I'll do all my outreach. Um, after that, um, for me, I've also got my personal brand. So that brings money to me. So uploading a YouTube video for me is yeah. an income producing activity because the more I upload, the more followers I'm going to get. So you know, I'll, I'll probably make my video for the day. Um, but the biggest thing for me is just doing your tasks in order of importance. So mm -hmm. make yeah. sure you're planning your day and going into it with a most important task. And um, whatever that task is, do it first. I don't care. Most of the time, that's the most uncomfortable thing because if it was easy, everyone would do it. Yeah, exactly. But it's not. So if it, and plus, if you get it out of the way first thing in the morning, it's done then. Yeah. Get the most important task out of the way, do that. And, and to be honest with you, once I've done that, I'm free to do whatever I want. Now, I, I can't sit down for more than five minutes. Like I can't sit and play cod all day just because I feel bad. <laughs> like yeah. I just can't do that. But, you know, so then that's when I'll sit and I'll, I'll do a course or I'll read some books or, you know, I'll, I'll do a bit, you know, I'll speak to some of my friends or I'll go out with a meal with my girlfriend or, yeah. or things like that. So I don't limit or structure the rest of my day too much. As long as I get those things done in the morning, my, yeah. the rest of my day is pretty much free to do whatever I want then. But a lot of people make the mistake of, Waking up first thing in the morning and then, you know, you know, reading all day and and then doing creating a website, but yeah. never actually doing the stuff that's going to bring money to their business. So um, as long as I do that first, my rest of my day is just just chill, man. Yeah, so just like a really structured morning routine. Yeah. And then focus on income producing activities. Yeah. And then you've got all the freedom in the world then. Yeah. yeah. Man. And the thing is as well, like for me, the way I get clients, it probably takes me like thirty minutes, sometimes up to an hour max. Uh, to do all my client outreach, um, doing a video maybe takes me thirty minutes. Yeah. By the time maybe maybe just say a total maybe an hour and a half to two hours every day uh, focused on my IPAs, my income producing activities. Then the rest of the day then is completely free. So, you know, if I want to start other business ventures or do other stuff, I'll do that in that time. Yeah. You know, when when I was in Australia, I wasn't really doing any of that, so I was just enjoying myself. And you know, next year when I go traveling, you know, I'll probably just crack up in the morning, do those, do that hour and a half, do that two hours, and then. I won't work for the rest of the day. I'll just enjoy, you know, enjoy traveling and things like that. Yeah, that's amazing. Anyway, guys, I'll probably like uh, wrap up this little interview here. If you want to know any more about like outsourcing or client acquisition or anything else that uh, Brad does, he also offers coaching. Uh, I'll link all his, his social media and his coaching in the description box down below. Brad, thanks for coming on the channel. It was an Thank honor you for, to, me, to, 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 for you to be on my channel and to speak about how you've done it all. Thank you, man. And uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. So there you go, guys. That was a Skype call with Bradley Riley. And it just goes to show, like, he was stacking shelves in the shop and he was fed up of it. And, like, within a few days, he already had two clients, you know, and he's, he's just building on his agency. He's found, like, certain processes to systemize, automize, and outsource most of it. And now he's got so much free time to, to like look into other like business ventures, work on his personal brand and on self improvement. Really great guy. Like after the Skype call, we had like a little chat as well, just about like our goals and how we can help each other out. Because obviously he knows so much more than I do, and then I can help me like the personal brand part of it. And it's just great to to stay in contact with like minded people and people that are on the. It sounds so cliche, but people that are on the same journey, you know, people that want more than just the regular everyday life. It's just, it's just refreshing and it leaves me so motivated as well to like proper like crush it in 2018. Anyway guys, if you want me to do more of these like interview type of videos, then let me know in the comments down below. Also let me know in the comments down below like, what you thought of or what you think of like my videos lately. Obviously it's no more fitness related, it is more like business related, social media marketing related and I've noticed like a decline in my views. So let me know like just just like it or you know he's considering unsubscribing if I do keep this up. Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video though if you did like this video because that will help the channel grow more and attract like the right type of people. Subscribe to the channel if you do want to stay stick around. Click on the little bell so you get a notification every single time I upload. Thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.